Hey there, this is Nina with Voila Stamping. Thanks for joining me today. And this is the project that I'm going to be sharing with you. Um, this is a gift tag, and this is week four of Gift Tag Tuesday. And you know, last week I made one with a little candy cane and a reindeer that was so cute for a child. Well, I decided to go a little more masculine this week. And this is a gift tag that I feel would be very appropriate for a man's gift gift. Um, it could be for Christmas, but it could also be for um, a birthday gift as well. You could change up the sentiment to say happy birthday if you wanted to change it up. So let me show you how to make this gift tag. It only takes a few minutes. So you basically need four pieces of paper to create this gift tag. First of all, I have a piece of old olive. This is cut to three and three fourths by two inches, and you'll need an additional piece that is cut at two and a fourth by one half. Then there's a piece of chocolate chip cardstock. This is cut to four by two and a fourth. And then lastly, I have a piece of always artichoke, and this is cut to four and three fourths by two and a half. Um, I'm going to be doing some distressing. If you can tell on here, um, I've distressed the edges of all of these papers just a little bit. And what I've used to do that with is some of our crumb cake ink and then a little sponge. To stamp the tree, I use the chocolate chip ink and the stamps I have a couple of stamp sets actually the tree that I stamped here comes from the lovely as a tree stamp set um, I love this set I've been looking for ways to use it and I think that this is a perfect way to to use this stamp set and then if you'll notice here I have these little pine cone branches that is this little stamp right here the second set that I'm using is the Christmas pines and the reason I'm using this is because I really like the to you and yours sentiment there but like I said you if you only wanted to use this one stamp set the lovely as a tree or if that's the only one you have or whatever then certainly you could change this up um, you could hand write a sentiment in there if you wanted to so I'm using the to you and yours and then I've also got my little branches mounted on this same block here and um, I'm also going to be using out of the Baker's Twine Trio Pack, I've used the gold Baker's Twine to sort of give this a little decorative aspect as well as have a tag on top. So let's go ahead and get this put together. Now first of all what I'd like to do is get the old olive stamped with my tree. So let me grab my chocolate chip ink and my stamp and I've just got an old piece of paper here that I've been using for different things. I'm going to put that underneath where I'm stamping to protect my work surface. Get that tree stamped ink really good and then I just look at where I'm going with this stamp and try to get it in the middle. And I'm going to hold it down for just a second and I'm not pushing down really hard. I'm just holding it long enough to make sure that that ink does come off of my stamp and and adhere to my paper. Okay, so that got stamped. Now let me show you how I distress the edges of these paper. I'm using the crumb cake and my sponge and I'm just dipping my sponge in and then what I do is I start going up the edges like this. Okay, because I definitely want the sides of my paper um, darkened with that ink. And as I get that like I want it to look, then I just keep lightly tapping my sponge back into my ink and then I work my way over to the top of the the piece of paper so again I'll go up the edge then when I get that darkened I'll work across and go over the top a little bit so I just do this all the way around the piece of paper that I'm working with make sure that I get those edges done nicely then once I'm satisfied with that, I like to come in and darken up the edges, or not the edges, but the corners a little bit more. Um, and then I will just keep working around until I get the appearance that I'm going for. And depending on your personal preference, you may like it distressed more than I do. 
um, or you may like it less. So it is your project. You can do it however you choose to. So I did all three pieces of my paper that way. And I almost forgot this little guy. Now I did not distress this on the original one, but let's go ahead and distress this also since I still have my sponge out and I have some distress or some crumb cake ink left on there. And we'll compare the two and see which way you like it better. So let's go ahead and um, while I have my ink out, let me grab that piece of paper again and we'll stamp the to and the from and the little pine branches. So I'm going to load up the ink on the to you and yours. It doesn't say to and from. I don't even know why I said that. Line that up in the center and get it stamped. And it didn't do so great, so I'm going to flip it over and do it on the other side. Okay, that's better. Then I'm just going to dip my little pine branch back into that chocolate chip ink. Stamp on that side and it's going to run off the edge because the stamp is larger than this little piece of paper. Um, but it, it doesn't matter. I'm going for that kind of a look anyway. Okay, since I had to flip it over, let me see if I still have enough ink left on here to kind of get a distressed look on this. And not so much, but it's okay. All right, so to put this together, um, I'm just going to use some snail and adhere um, the chocolate chip cardstock to the Always Artichoke base. And I'm going to um, have a border around the top and the sides that are pretty much equal but there's going to be additional space left here at the bottom and that is where you will put your greeting or your sentiment. Now I'm going to put the tree on with dimensionals and um, Originally, on the first one I did, I put five on there, but I'm going to try this with just three running down the center and see if that's going to work out just as well. Well, I'm not ready for that yet. Let me get my baker's twine out. And to adhere this on here, um, I'm going to lay down a little bit, if I can get it rolled out here, I'm going to lay down a little bit of my fast fuse. Then I'm going to lay the baker's twine down into there to get it stuck and I'm just going to go around and around this card three, four, five times just whatever the mood strikes me at the moment that I'm making my gift tag and then push all those strands down and get them stuck really well down into that fast fuse and then just cut off the end of the baker's twine like that. So then we'll take the backing off of the dimensionals and we'll get ready to put that on. But I think before I even do that, I probably should go ahead and get my um, topper in here, not my topper, get my twine put through the top. So I'm gonna cut another piece that's probably about eight inches long. Actually, that's probably more than eight inches, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get the ends of these strings matched up and that is one eighth of an inch hole. So getting a piece of twine through there is not always the easiest thing to do, but if you pinch your twine down into a point as sharp as you can, it'll usually go through for you pretty easy. So I started uh, threading that through the back into the front and I spread that loop open and then grab those loose pieces of twine from the back and pull them through. Then I just come up to the top and I tie it in a simple little knot and then just snip off the extra twine that I don't need. Then we'll go ahead and put our tree on and see you're not going to see the um, fast fuse under there because this is going to cover it up and then I also use dimensionals to attach my greeting and I don't need full size ones so I'm just going to come down here and snip off a couple of these that are in the half size at the edge of the paper and use those instead. Put those on the back and then take your backing off 
and put your greeting on there and I just try to line the edges of the greeting up with the edges of that chocolate chip and then try to make sure that I have a somewhat equal border of the um, always artichoke on the bottom and the top. So there you go. There is your week four gift tag Tuesday project. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I sure do hope that these um, tags that I'm making is giving you some good ideas for tags that you could make for your gifts as well. And if you want to hop on over to my website, there is a link below the video that will take you to this project and it'll have all the instructions and the measurements on how to create it. If there's any project um, that's over there that you need um, the product for to create, there's also a link that you can go straight to my online store and purchase the items you see here to make this project or any of the other projects that's on my website. So I hope that you guys will give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.